Hello, fanboys and fangirls. I'm Tony Mango, presenting you another episode of our trailer reactions. We did one of these the first time around with the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer, so we figured we'd do another one. And I'm joined by another one of my fellow fanboys that was here the first time around, Eddie Sakara. Oh yeah, I was there, yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do something different. I was going to go like... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also joined by Sean Walker. Hopefully he's going to do some more 2D2 beeps. No. no. <laughs> oh. it's, it's, qu- it's quarter to 11 on a Friday night and I'm sat here talking to you two nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds, indeed we are. Because, uh, uh, I don't know about you guys, but both for the last one and for this one, I got goosebumps. Um, let's go around, though, and let's talk about your first reactions to this. Overall, thoughts in general. What do you guys think when you first saw this? 20 times a million better than the first one. The first one, I was meh on. I was like, I'm in an iron, but this one, this one sold it for me. That's my first opinions on this. What about you, Eddie? Uh, the first one I was already like totally I was I had like the DTs I was like whoa man I was like totally I was, I was like goosebumps totally and uh, the second one well god damn it you hear Luke Skywalker talking and <laughs> you see Han Solo and Chewie like come on man <laughs> it's like you know what I mean like you know <laughs> it, just, it just blew my mind, dude. It blew my mind. I was like, I was not expecting to get this excited. I guess you know, like you keep hearing about it, you know, for like a year, a year and a half. It's like, oh, the new Star Wars. You know, they're gonna have all the, the old cast back and all that. And I'm like, sure, okay, cool. And then I kind of let things, you know, you kind of forget about it. And then you see the first trailer, like, whoa, dude, it looks cool. And the, you know, Disney's done a good job with Marvel, right? They own Marvel, or am I totally off? No, they own Marvel. They own them. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm not way off. Uh, they did a great job with the Marvel Universe, so what's to say they're not going to totally, totally knock this one out of the park with Star Wars? Now, That's true. Uh, when I first saw the, you know, the sand dunes, I'm like, okay, here's Tatooine again, and then you see, like, oh, this big, this big Star Destroyer. Is this a Super Star Destroyer or just a Star Destroyer? Well, let's go through it's, it's, it's the trailer, Star like, a little bit by a little bit. Um, well, but this is the one that, like, told me to like shut up and watch this <laughs> moron shut up and watch stop, stop don't think about episode one two and three basically it is i mean the first shot that we get is uh, very similar to what you can see from uh some other things that jj abrams has done you know that shot from star trek of uh captain kirk well before he's captain kirk yeah. when he's this little kid yeah. and he's you know driving around in the desert and this is just i'm assuming daisy ridley just driving around in a desert and they mentioned in the star wars celebration that this is not tatooine it's this brand new planet called jakku that uh i don't know if i'm really down okay, for that sure well i'm sure there are other deserts in the galaxy yeah but to me it makes Why more not? sense to just have it be tatooine you know if they shot it in australia instead of tunisia maybe i'll totally buy it but we do see a uh, downed X-Wing, and it seems like that's going to be the big reveal. But then, holy shit, there's a whole downed uh, Star Destroyer of some kind, and it's just sitting there in the sand. It's been covered up a little bit, so it's obviously been there for a little while. Um, not something that, you know, you would expect uh, 10 minutes before she, or he, because we're still not sure who's uh, driving around on that speeder. Not something that recently happened. Um, that is just a shot that looks amazing. I have no idea what the context is of this, but uh, I would assume that it's this other information that they gave us where Daisy Ridley's character is a scavenger. So maybe she's just kind of checking out the downed crash site, seeing if she could grab anything from there, you know? Sure, sure, it could be. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's all speculation. Right. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to speculate to our heart's desires (laughs) as much as we can. Let's let's speculate (laughs) the crap out of this. Exactly, yeah. Uh, that leads us into a little voiceover from Mark Hamill, which for some reason people are confused about this. They're like, is that Mark Hamill? Hamill? Yes, it is. It's the no, same it's the line. fucking Joker, for fuck's sake. Right. <laughs> so many people are like, well, is this another character? Is there another Force person out there who's uh, saying this and they just happen to sound like him? No, it's Mark Hamill. It's been 30 years, people. Come on. Voices change. There's some things that are confusing people in this that I really don't understand. 
Uh, we'll pick apart some of that, but um, he gives his voiceover. The force is strong in my family. Uh, you know, my father has it. My sister has it. I have it. That kind of a thing. Uh, and we get a little bit of a clip for each one of them when he says, my father has it. You've got the first shot of Darth Vader's helmet, the burnt, fucked up, half-melted helmet that he kept from uh, Forest Moon of Endor, I guess. It was cremation by the looks of it. <laughs> it does kind of look like somebody tried to do like a clay statue and just gave up midway through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let, let's not get picky with the uh, accuracy of the... <laughs> well, I mean, that's what it would look portrayed. like when, you know, it did, it did the whole funeral pyre and stuff. But that shot alone, it's creepy as hell to see, you know, the fucked up looking teeth, essentially, it looks like with the, the breathing apparatus. You mean the grill? Yeah. It looks like it's te- uh, teeth, though. Like, that's what makes it look scary. But um, I never, I never, I never, ever, ever in my past twenty something years of Star Wars mania thought of him as teeth. You ever thought that that kind of looked like? Uh, oh man, teeth? it totally looks like a jack o' lantern. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not as much in the normal Vader one, but the burnt one it does. Okay, new challenge. Uh, this October, uh, somebody make a jack o' lantern that looks exactly like the burnt Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> But we've got a shot of that, so that means he either kept it or somebody else kept it. I would naturally assume that he kept it, because, I mean, well, why he, not? He, he, he was messed up, man. And what is the what, what is the helmet made of? I always assumed metal. I always assumed plastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, but... Like... Well, it looks like clay, but <laughs> we're not... Yeah, like I'm not so sure if it were metal, it would melt halfway, that's true. My, and my also, thing. if it were plastic, it would have melted onto the skull of Anakin. <laughs> right. I mean, I know there's no sound in space, and we buy it, but you know, like there, the kid in me is like totally like trying to stab the other guy, but I'm like, man, you know, if, okay, the star destroyer and the sand, like you know, wouldn't it if if the, if it just exploded and like the engine died or whatever. Wouldn't it just orbit the planet, just like the X-Wing, eventually? But mm, enough. I, know, I don't want to blow this random one. Totally cool helmet, awesome teeth, cool. My thing is, right, in the last episode, right, the Return of the Jedi, right? Sure. He took the helmet off him, right? He must have got, he must have put his dad back into the ship when the, when the Star Destroyer was getting blown up, and he must have went, oh shit, I've left the helmet behind. Best go grab that. No, no, no. I'm sure he have the time to grab the helmet. Now, see, you know how the Jedi disappear when they die. Well, at least you know Obi Wan and oh, um, and that's Yoda. That's a good point, man. So it wouldn't burn to his skull because he's got no skull anymore. He just, you know, about like I would assume maybe like ten seconds after the last shot of him, uh, you know, it's got the sad Darth Vader theme, which is just the fucking best. Um, you know, he, you know, puts his head down, he's sad, you know, I would assume a couple seconds after that he just disappears, and then he just grabs his, uh, gear and, you know, drags that to the, uh... Well, the cult, it's like, burial thing. Yeah, and then he just That's burns the, the stuff itself, there's no actual, like, Oh, wait, body. wait, wait, okay, okay, I, I almost bought it, but why is, is there obviously a body inside that suit? Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think that's just how bulky the suit is. Because you got to remember, most of it's just metal. All right, you know what? He's oh, only you got save, you know, save the day. You save the day. Thank <laughs> you. Man. That's totally. I buy it. I buy it. He's got one. No hand. arms and legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, oh no, he cool, doesn't even cool, have cool. a hand anymore. Both of his hands are gone. He's got yeah, yeah. part of an arm. No, no, because Obi Wan chopped him to like bits. Yeah. <laughs> part of an arm, uh, about like a quarter of a torso and a head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> It should have disappeared even faster. <laughs> it should have just been like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm happy now. Jesus. All right. So, okay. Cool. Darth Vader uh, helmet thing totally plausible. Uh, weird. Yeah. You know the cape Titanium burns fast. Plastic and... from space. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, now explain to me the uh, star destroyer in the sand. Uh, hooks. <laughs> they dragged it down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it was something that like it landed on the planet and started the take off and then somebody shot it and blew it up and only part of it got blown up all right all right right. there you go (laughs) that'll work okay but um 
So he goes on his little thing about my father has it. We see, you know, representation of Darth Vader. He says, I have it. You see a little shot of uh, R2-D2. R2-D2 and what I'm assuming is Luke put up his hand on top of him, give him a little pat on the head, which is adorable. Luke doesn't have, if that is Luke, he doesn't have the normal looking hand uh, yeah, for well, his yes. fake hand. Why would he pimp uh, it up? Maybe after a while he was just like, oh, I don't like this shade. I want to be like my dad again. <laughs> But, um, like Bob maybe, like you know, it might not be him. You never know. I would assume that it would be, though, since obviously they're going with the whole, you know, my father has it. Here's a shot of my father. I have it. A shot of me. So, my you know what? I'll, I'll tell you why it's probably not him. Why is that? I have a, I, I don't know. It's, it's a hunch. It's just the arm is, I don't know, man. It's just looks a little thin. May, yeah, maybe. I mean, Mark Hamill's put on a little weight, so. It does look a little thin. Honestly, that's that, I was going to go with that, but I was like, mm, should I say it? Should I not say it? I said it. Maybe during this time period, he's lost the rest of his arm, too. <laughs> Fighting who? Uh, then it gets to, uh, you know, my sister has it. We see somebody hand a lightsaber to what I'm assuming is Leia, of course, and that's the lightsaber that Luke had. So is that kind of confirmation of that old theory and that rumor that was flying around that this movie was going to involve them getting Luke's old lightsaber? Are you sure that's Luke's lightsaber? I'm positive that's Darth Vader's lightsaber. Well, technically. No, that looks like the are. Jedi, Return of the Jedi lightsaber. I see you've constructed a new lightsaber. Oh, no, that's definitely the one from uh, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. The one no, from dude, Return of dude, the Jedi the, is the, the, the one that's the one, got the that little... From, uh, the one from Wait, hang on. I'm confused now. Because A New Hope has that uh, lousy little... Well, it's not lousy. It's awesome. It's blue. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's uh, it used to be Anakin's. Yeah. But that's then, the one that they show in this long, shot. Yeah. They, no, it's not the one. Oh, I'm having a look. Where's Google Images? New Hope lightsaber. Here, I'll send you a link to that spot in the trailer. So I remember. I, was, I remember vividly seeing, wow, this the Return of the Jedi one has, like, a dark like handle thing. And the one in the... Yeah, the Return of the Jedi one looks more like a, a mechanical part. And no, it's... That's, that's definitely New Hopes. Yeah. Fuck, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, that's long? why I said, when you said, is it Darth Vader's or is it Luke's? Uh, it's kind of both, because he uses that at the end of Empire, uh, at the end of Revenge of the Sith. And that's the one that he gives to Luke in um, A New Hope. I would assume that it's the same one. Which kind of makes me think that maybe that report's true, and they do get that at some point, which means that they're just mining the hell out of. So Cloud hey, City hang on a something. second. So his in Empire Strikes Back, Luke's hand flew into nothing, wherever with the lightsaber, and somebody found it. That's the rumor that's been going around for like a very, very, very long time. Uh, no, 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 no. I hope that's not true. You know I hope what? that it's this is matter. just something it's where me. somebody else came across it and. You know, maybe it's just, like, been this treasure that's been passed around the galaxy kind of a thing or something. I don't know, but I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. I mean, who knows? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Whatever they come up with, I'll, I'll just buy it. I'll swallow it whole. My ideal scenario is that this has nothing to do with Luke's actual lightsaber, that this is just something else that they have made. Like, he likes this design, and he made it again. Hey, whose, hand, who, whose hand is giving this to uh, who I assume is Leia? Somebody really skinny. Small, and frail, or a kid, maybe? Either a kid or some kind of a really... No, it's probably another woman. Anorexic uh, woman? <laughs> oh, just petite, I guess. But it might be Daisy Ridley. If she's a scavenger, maybe she came across that and she's handing it to Leia. Who, she's gotta be Leia's daughter. It's a woman. I just paused it right on the silhouette. Uh, there's a weird face going on. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! That comment's pretty good. Yeah, I try. Can you get? Can you see the? There's like a frame where you can see the face. Hmm. It looks kind of weird. I'm not fast enough on mine. <laughs> um, that leads us into a, a beautiful shot. Second time in a row that they've done that on this trailer. That I think this the face best is shot. Really weird. Okay, I can see this face is really weird. I'm like, let's see it. What space? No, the face of the person whoever's oh, handing the <laughs> light table to Leia, we assume. Yeah, I can't really tell too much. I'm not quick like enough on the, the frames. 
But it takes us into a, uh, a beautiful shot of the X-Wings flying. That looks amazing. And uh, Poe Dameron in the uh, cockpit. He said, uh, Oscar Isaac, I should say, um, they talked a little bit about their characters at the uh, Star Wars celebration, and uh, Oscar Isaac said, Poe Dameron is the best friggin' pilot in the galaxy. No, no reason not to believe that. That moves us on to a shot of Daisy Ridley and uh, John Boyega's character, Finn, and the little uh, droid that we're going to be all falling in love with, BB-8, I think is his name, yeah, running away from some kind of an attack. She's got some, then, some kind of like a staff. Maybe it's like a... I would have said a Tusken Raider staff kind of a thing, but they're not on Tatooine, so... I don't know about that. Maybe it's a rifle? I can't really tell. It it looks a bit like a rifle, but without the actual... Like the handle part? Maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah. it's one of those things from Stargate. Maybe they're like in Planet Stargate or whatever. If they, if I have never seen anything of Stargate. I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. The movie's, no, the movie's totally cool. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> The original movie is really awesome. And we got I, a shot I of... I thought, like, this droid is questionable for me. You're not down with I him don't, I think he's going to be another Jopping's character, this droid. I just oh, want to... God, yeah, I forgot about that. Process. I don't think so. I think he's going to be a cute little guy. Oh, man, you know what? Like, I don't know. I'm just... I'm scared that... You know, like, with the episode one, two, and three, it was like... Yeah, there was Jar Jar, and then there was some lousy humor and stuff. And Maybe... I mean, it's a good thing George Lucas is kind of sort of in the back seat for this if at all because uh, uh, I don't, I don't want to see anything stupid I'm not saying I want to see like a movie for adults or whatever but eh, you know like take it easy on the on the cute stuff you know what I'm a little bit worried about though if they think that they need to just go with that as the new droid if they kill off R2 well come on I mean he's been around for like what like a, <laughs> 80 years yeah, but he should be around forever. R2's the, the fucking shit. Where's 3PO? I can't stand R2. I oh, they can kill 3PO. Fuck 3PO. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you can't have one. Of, oh, yeah, it's like, oh, kill Beavis. Sure. Fine. <laughs> we can't have one without the other man. That's true. Uh, then we get a shot of Kylo Ren, the villain of the film. Uh, he just kind of looks like some, I don't know, fanfic version of Darth Vader to me. I'm not down with him yet. His lightsaber isn't the one with the three blades. Yeah, it is. Not on this one shot, is not. That's just a shot from the side. You can see it, though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I, I do uh, like this new lightsaber. It's badass. I don't care what anybody says. It just makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it looks it. cool. It's just let's see if it has a purpose for looking like that. Does he yeah, seem a little, a a little cheap to you guys, though? What? To me... He, to me, he seems like a costume somebody would make up at, like, Comic-Con. <laughs> like, they took, like, part of their heater and just put that into, like, a mask. Do we need somebody who's, like, a knockoff Darth Vader? Like, I, I was expecting something... Oh, well, that's, that's, how, that's how I felt about Darth Maul. Oh, uh, see, Maul, like, to me, eh, seemed like... It was cheesy. No, nah, it was cheesy. I didn't like Darth Maul at all. Oh. I'll never have it this. <laughs> I oh, like really Darth Maul. Dark, fuck Darth Maul. I, mean, I didn't really like Dooku. Um, oh, I didn't like Dooku. He was too old. But his name was silly. Yeah, they could have gone with something a little cooler. I like General Dooku. Grievous was cool though. Dryad or something. But I don't know this <laughs> Kylo Ren. The only thing I can think of maybe that would justify something sort of like that. Maybe he's like a Sith fanboy. Sith fanboy. <laughs> like. Maybe he's like, uh, you know, that's there is a theory going around that his um, lightsaber is kind of like a proto lightsaber. That's why he needs the two little exhaust ports on the side. Maybe he's like kind of following the, the Sith way on his own. He has no master. He's just sort of learning this on his own and kind of shit and really likes Darth Vader. So he's like, nah, oh, I'll make my own Darth Vader. it's something better than that. It's something like the he, like he awoke from like the darkest corners of the galaxy from a slumber. It was like a from millennium, you know, like a thousand years ago. Epic, epic stuff. Epic yep. stuff. The other thing... Epic stuff. I don't want, like, eh, the Sith were better, and, like, this guy just snap, puts on a suit and decides to be all evil. Screw that. I want, like, the heart of, like, darkness, you know what I mean? The other thing that I'm hearing as far as rumors for this character is that he's the son of Han and Leia, and he's 
already turned evil and that this kind of, I guess, uh, homage to Darth Vader is sort of, let me uh, bring back with my uh, what my grandfather what did. My father did. That's a bit weird. I hope that's not Holy the shit, case because yeah, I don't want to. I don't want another sense. Sith uh, Skywalker. I don't want anybody in the family to turn bad. I think that that's Anakin's story. But that remains to be seen. That gives us another shot, though. That's really crazy, and this is something that I'm really interested in. That's the stormtroopers at some kind of like a rally. There's some guy sitting in the middle of the whole stage. I guess he's sort of the new leader of the Empire. Maybe that's the um, Max von Sydow's character. But they don't have the actual Imperial symbol. That's something new. Yeah, they have, they have some weird, like, post... Like, it looks like the Red Hulk. Hipster, hipster, hipster uh, Imperial sign. I do this like the flag. This is, a, this is a red flag. It's, it's right there. They added more, like, uh, spikes to the Imperial symbol. <laughs> Now, is this More Hoth, better. or is this another, are they going to do that kind of shit where it's like, well, we'll have a desert planet that's not Tatooine, and we're going to have a nice planet that's not Hoth, and they're going to do that kind of crap? <laughs> Instead of Norway, they're going to go to, like, uh, Russia to shoot. <laughs> a little bit of um, German Nazi symbolism in here, right? For you. Yeah. Yeah. So they're keeping that tradition going. I yeah. can only assume that this is Max von Sydow's <laughs> character. Can we get and... to the Chewie and Han Solo part? <laughs> uh, we're going to get there, don't worry. Uh, ah, it's killing me. There's a lot of red with the Empire now, though. Pretty much every shot's got some sort of red going on with it. Um, we'll get to uh, another one of them in a couple seconds, but there, we have a shot of Daisy Ridley, who is gorgeous. Holy shit. I'm gonna get uh, such a crush on her. Um, an awesome shot, though, here, uh, after that, of a TIE fighter attacking stormtroopers. Civil I... War... I can only assume that's John Boyega's character. He's some kind of a stormtrooper that either worked with the Empire and becomes a hero, or he is just kind of infiltrating them, and he has a, been a hero from the very beginning. Maybe that's like he steals a TIE fighter and he uses that to escape. I don't know. Um, there's a shot right afterward of him you know, taking off the the helmet. But then we've got the Chrome Trooper, who has a bunch of red... And this uh, Chrome Trooper is supposed to be the leader of, I guess, like a sect of them, or maybe all of them. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys oh, think of the Chrome Trooper? Cool. Cool. I have, I mean, yeah, it, it all looks cool. I, I just hope it's kind of it, it'll go somewhere. I hope it make, I hope it makes sense. I'm not like a, into any sort of backstory or big Star Wars lore outside of the movies. Uh, kind of, I used I. to, but I've played some, I've played some games back in the day, but it's not like, I've read Shadows of the Empire and I thought it would, uh, that would have been a great movie. Uh, well, they, they the have already said production. that the expanded universe is just not going to come into play, so I would assume I mean, pretty well, much well, anything that we can Empire get out of here obvious, wouldn't be that much of a deal, you know? Yeah, the Shadows of the Empire was such an obvious link with, uh, between the Empire and Jedi that it, it might as well have been a movie. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's just, I don't, I don't, I'm, let, let's let it. I'm gonna let, let everything slide. It's just I'm excited as hell, and uh, it's just I don't know, dude. Like the Han Solo's back, and they're well, we're gonna see them again. You know, that's cool, and it, it it feels like Star Wars again. You know? Sean, what do you think of the Chrome Trooper? I, I like the, I like the design of the Chrome Trooper. I I like the red cape on him. I think it's oh, on her. It's like over shoulder. Is that her? I think uh, that's Gwendolyn Christie's character. Huh. Well, the suit hides the boobs. <laughs> That'd be pretty uh, horrible if they were just like, all right, well, we can have a woman lead the stormtroopers, but we got to carve out boobs on the costume. That would be like, oh, come on. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, actually yeah, shape it for a woman's body, you know? <laughs> that's, that's all I can say if, if it is a woman, but... Yeah, I, I like the I like the chrome effect. I like the gun. I think the gun looks badass. Well, the blaster, whatever you want to fucking call it. But I like the chrome. I don't like the the, the clip after it with this fucking stupid ball fucking droid looking thing. Ah. Uh, you just uh, want to kick it, then you just want to see how far it bounces. You know. Yeah, but still. <laughs> it's gonna annoy the fuck out of me. Uh, let me get a shot of Finn and uh, Ray. Is what they're calling her, but a lot of. Reports keep saying that that's not her actual name in the movie. 
they're helping each other out, which that comes after we've already seen them run away from something together, so we already kind of knew that. But and we got a cool shot of the Millennium Falcon and a uh, TIE fighter. They're doing some kind of a chase through another ship. They go through like the exhaust port or the Looks whatever like you call that. Star Destroyer, or am I wrong? Something uh, like that. Maybe. Um, I, I think it's the Imperial Destroyer. Maybe something or- just kind of like a transport or something. I don't know. But then we get probably what most would consider the money shot of the trailer, and that's uh, Chewie and Han Solo together. He says, Chewie, we're home. And, of course, Chewie's just like... <laughs> like yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, yeah. No, but uh, you know what? You know what really uh, nailed it for me? The sound... You, you hear the theme again. You hear Luke's theme again. Oh, uh, I fucking na, na, love dude. that theme. Greatest movie, uh, greatest soundtrack in movie history, Tatooine Sunset. Nothing ever beats that for me. I get really, I, 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 I get, say, though, I feel something. I feel something every time I see it. No matter how many, how many times I watch it, I still mm-hmm. feel something. And that theme to me, like throughout the trailer, just I, I think the movie's not going to have that kind of. It might not have any of that impact because. They might as well play that that theme throughout the entire thing, and they'll win it. I mean, everybody can feel something because <laughs> it's like two and a half hours of that stuff. theme, dude. John, this is John Williams, one of his many fine moments. Mm-hmm. That's to definitely that one of my still favorite. Still alive themes. and kicking is great, even though he's recycling themes. But that's fine. Oh, it's not you know recycling. It's well, just I mean, well, back. I mean, no, I, I, you know what I mean. It's just it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's been brought back. So. What would you say is your favorite part of the trailer? Sean, let's start with you. Uh, my favorite part of the trailer is the beginning of the trailer where you see the crash-landed Imperial Destroyer and the Mark Hamill voiceover work, which I have a theory about the Mark Hamill voiceover work. I don't think Mark Hamill's going to be the good guy in this film. I think he sounds kind of like a douchebag. <laughs> he sounds... He sounds... He sounds... Uh, he <laughs> And the fact that Chewie actually uses just for men as well, by the looks of it. <laughs> he is uh, nicely groomed. He is. He's, he's looking well He's looking well groomed, considering the shape he was in the last time I saw him. He's looking better than uh, Peter Mayhew is, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know how they expect him to keep doing that. Uh, at the Star Wars celebration, he came out with uh, a cane and everything. I'm like, oh man, just like... Don't make the guy run around in this anymore. <laughs> Get somebody else to do this. What about you, Eddie? What's your favorite part of the trailer? Chewie we home. I gotta go with probably that one shot of the... Uh... No, you know what? I I was gonna say the shot of the X-Wings, but I gotta go with the Darth Vader helmet. That's just, you know... Ah, uh, fucking Vader's the best character yeah, Probably yeah. out of the entire series. Although the I am partial to Obi-Wan. Powerful as fuck, that's true. So that, you know, and of course that's at the beginning of it, so that theme's kicking in, and you're, you know, just like, uh, goosebumps. What about least favorite parts, though, Sean? Gonna get, assume BB-8? <laughs> uh, least least favorite part is uh, the, the little stupid little robot thing. <laughs> and um, I, think that's, I think that's about it. Maybe. I'll rewatch it and I'll get back to you. <laughs> what about your least favorite part, Eddie? You know what? I, I don't have one. I really don't. I could, uh, yeah, sure, I could nitpick here and there, but you know, like, oh yeah, the lightsaber doesn't make sense because it's got the hilt, and the hilt makes no sense, bro. But honestly, like, dude, it's just I hate the fact that we don't see more. I want to watch the movie. That's right. that, that's what sucks. I want to watch the movie. But I got one. I got one. No. The fact that it says it's in fucking December. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boo. I got a nitpick on one thing that's been bothering me ever since they announced this. I don't like the font that they're using for The Force Awakens. Oh, that just yeah. looks dumb to me. I hate that. What, in the you middle of the gotta level? pick something. It's just, yeah, pick that. And that they still aren't referring to this as Episode Seven. Every shot of the logo is just Star Wars The Force Awakens. That's definitely a mandate from somebody. Somebody said we don't want this to be episode seven. We want people to just get right into this, and I don't like. You know, that. You, you don't you don't think they're like trying their hardest to kind of like reset the universe with? Right? 
No, but I think that they're trying to do something where they want people to identify more so this is just Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and then probably when Episode Eight comes out, maybe that's when they'll try to get, like... Well, you just saw episode seven. Now you gotta see episode eight. Because remember, go see episode seven if you didn't. Like they might be doing that. This might be their idea of like, if we start with seven, people might be turned off and not go see it. Kind of a thing, you know. Or perhaps they might think if they don't give it a number, and this one flops, then they won't make a sequel. Oh, this isn't gonna flop. This is gonna be number one or number two highest grossing film of all time, definitely. Have you ever seen the Fanboys, the Kevin Smith produced movie? I was going to say the website. (laughs) No, um, I actually haven't watched that. Okay, well, basically, uh, it's the story of a guy who's kind of like terminally ill and his dream is to watch episode one before he dies, but it's like still in, like it just ended production and it's still not in theaters. So they kind of break into George Lucas' house. I mean, it's no major spoiler because the movie is funny on its own. Uh, so basically, uh, I apologize for the sirens here, but whatever, if you can hear it. Uh, so, I mean, like in the end, it's hilarious. It's like the friends go through this odyssey that's breaking a George Lucas, how the Skywalker ranch or something. And then they do. And, uh, and then they, that, that one kid, he watches it. Well, kid, he's like in his early twenties and he watches it and then he comes out like, Oh my God, how was that? How, how was it guys? It was awesome. And then, like, simply put, like, he, he – pat in the end, he passes away. And then, like, uh, everybody sitting in the movie theater, wow, he watched it already. Awesome, yeah, good for him. Hey, guys, what if it sucks? And then the movie just ends. <laughs> like, it just, it just ends. And that's hilarious, man. You never know. Uh, it could that's suck. Guys, like, I, we're all going to be sitting there like, dude, this is going to be so cool, so cool. Hey, guys, it sucks. I'm going to go into this movie (laughs) expecting it to be good, hoping that it'll be good, but still having my reservations. I mean, there's some things that I'm worried about. Like, I shouldn't be that worried because uh, as somebody who's not a Star Trek fan, J.J. Abrams made me interested in Star Trek with the first two movies that he did. So I can only assume that, you know, everything else is going to be great because... I don't think I've seen a single thing from J.J. Abrams that I didn't think was at least interesting, if not good. Uh, He did that third Mission Impossible film. That was cool. Um, Cloverfield was cool. He didn't direct that, but that was one of his kind of projects. So I'm assuming that this will be good, and it looks good so far, but I'm still worried about some things. I don't like this villain yet. I'm not too sold on uh, having the whole thing revolve around... Poe Dameron, Finn, and Ray, And I'm still fucking... I want them to announce that Dom Hall Gleason is Luke's kid. Like, God damn it, be Ben Skywalker. Just say it. Just say you're fucking Ben. That's like, if they announce that, I'll be all in for the movie. I'll be like, okay, well then, you now I don't have to worry about some things, but... You know, when they announce something like, well, that's Jakku instead, now you're starting to play around with things that I'm not a big fan of, so... Well, I mean, why would they be back on Tatooine again? Like, oh, it, why were they been on there for you know most of the six films? Why not? Yeah, but, uh, I was why assuming that Tatooine, Tatooine could have been time. like maybe one of the rebel bases or something like that. You know what I mean? Sure, I guess. Now we know that Jakku is something though. Something happened <laughs> with Jakku where the Star Destroyer got fucked up, and so did an X Wing. So one of those, <laughs> one of those rebels uh, fucked up during that fight. Um, but I'm down for it. I mean, this just makes me more excited than ever. Uh, I'm going to see this movie so many times in theaters. I know it. I'm going to waste so much money on this. I'm going to be so pissed at myself, (laughs) but I'm going to be there opening day. I'm going to be there on, I'm going to try to watch this on IMAX. I'm going to see this in a bunch of different formats because fuck, it's Star Wars. Come on. (laughs) It's Star Wars. How are you guys going to do like the line? I saw episode one only once in theaters, actually. Well, there you go. But I saw episode two like ten times because I kept getting these free movie tickets. <laughs> oh well, you know if it's free, then yeah, um, not like you would you won't fucking pay to watch it ten times. That was one of those deals where like I went to see it like pretty much the opening day. Uh, yeah, opening night I did, 
and then a couple other people hadn't gone to see it yet, so I was just like, oh, I'll go see it again, you know, you know, watch it with you guys. And then it was like, by that point, my AMC movie watcher thing caught up to me, got a free movie ticket, and I'm like, oh, I'll just use that on Star Wars again. And then got some kind of like a free movie ticket thing in a box of cereal, and I'm like, all right, I'll go see this again. Like, you know? So I knew the hell out of that movie by the time that came out on DVD, but uh, uh, this one I know I'm going to watch so much. Uh and you know, you know, if we see any more movie trailers and stuff like that, we're gonna bring that to you guys too. We're probably gonna do a, a trailer reaction to all these kind of things. And another trailer just came out, which is leaked online, so we can't really put up too much stuff about it yet. But the uh, Batman v Superman trailer is coming out. In I don't high think it's a real trailer. Let's be honest. Oh, uh, that's that definitely the trailer. Sucked. <laughs> So we might do a trailer reaction based off of that. If you definitely want to know our thoughts on that, leave a comment below and kind of tell us to do that. But um, if you have any other thoughts about this too, leave your comments below, guys. Tell us what you thought about this movie trailer. And the other one, go back and listen to that one. We did our little trailer rea uh, reaction for that video. So uh, leave your comments, like, subscribe, pass us along, all that other kind of stuff. Before we go, though, we're going to throw out some plugs. So, Sean, anything you want to plug? Nope. Eddie, anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, if you're in town, that means like uh, Curitiba, Brazil. Uh, <laughs> if there's a cool band playing, I'm, uh, I'm doing a sound for them. They're awesome. All right, guys. So, my <laughs> end of <laughs> things. make it down here, why not? <laughs> well, that'll bring things over to me. So, everything under a mango tree, you guys should know that by now. But uh, for the wrestling side of things, smartoutmoment.com. For the other fanboys things, obviously go to the fanboysanonymous.com for the articles and all the other podcasts that we do. And uh, if you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, then you can also check this out on youtube.com slash fanboysanonymous. And the vice versa, if you're listening to this on YouTube, go to iTunes and Stitcher. And if you want to hear more of our opinions about random stuff, we've also got the All Talk Show, which you can find on iTunes, Stitcher, and youtube.com slash Show, And follow that on Facebook and Twitter. Follow the Facebook and Twitter accounts for everything. Smart Out Moment, Fanboys, All Talk Show, Out on Limbs, A Mango Tree, and Tony Mango itself. That'll do us in for this trailer reaction. Thank you to Sean. Thank you to Eddie. Thank you to everybody who listens uh, to our podcast and anybody who leaves a comment below or anything like that. Uh, if we had another trailer coming up, we're going to do another one of these. Stay tuned for whatever's coming your way, though. I'm Tony Mango. I am a fanboy. We will see you next time.